Explicit messaging is used to access IO-Link service data, which allows reading and writing of the sensor settings and execution of commands such as tuning. An example where I'd want to send a write request to a parameter is to reset the accumulation of airflow on a flow meter. I've still got the FDG connected to port 1, and we can see that the accumulated flow is quite large. If I want to reset this value back to zero, there are two ways to go about it. I can toggle the digital output from the NQ if applicable to that port and acceptable by the connected sensor, or I can send a command via IO-Link service data. If I want to reset the integrated flow via toggling the digital output of port 1, I need to make sure that the digital output is enabled via the port settings and the IO-Link sensor knows what to do with that output via accessing the parameters in the device settings. Once this is done, I need to open the port 1 tags and pulse the digital output bit on and off. When I check the FDG accumulated flow, we can see that it was forced to reset. The other way to do this is by using our add-on instruction for writing messages to the NQ. I'll start by importing the write AOI and add it into my main routine. I'll need to create new tags for each field of the instructions. Personally, I've noticed there are a few tags I never touch, so I start those with the letter Z to remind myself. The important fields here are the REQ tag, which is just a boolean I need to toggle to initiate the message, and the write data tag, which is where I can specify the contents of a message or command that I'm giving to my IO-Link sensor. The port number field lets me specify to which port on the NQ to direct my message. The IO-Link index field lets us select which parameter of an IO-Link sensor to adjust via service data. The full list of parameters available can be found in the IO-Link instruction manual for that sensor. For example, I've got the FDG parameters pulled up now, and we can see that I need to use index 104 to reset the integrated flow. For key int sensors, which do not have sub-indices, I will always leave the sub-index field as zero. Lastly, the swap mode field will always be one unless you're using a parameter with a byte length larger than two. This setting accounts for a difference in endiness between the NQ and the PLC. After all the AOI fields are filled out, we need to click on the bottom ellipses to set up the AOI itself. For writing a message, the service code will always be 4C and the class will always be 85. The instance and attribute should be filled out with a 1. For our source and destination elements, we want to select the tag that we created for the write data field in the AOI earlier. Lastly, we need to enter the communication tab and set up the path to the NQ that we want to use the AOI on. After all this, we can click apply and exit out. We'll need a way to toggle our write request bit, so I'll set up a simple rung to do this. Afterwards, the last thing I need to do is navigate to my tags and edit the write data tag. First, as we can see from the FDG manual, I need to write a value of zero to reset the accumulated flow on an FDG. Secondly, I need to fill out the data length in bytes of this message, which is described as two bytes long in the manual. Please note that recording the incorrect length here will cause an error with the AOI. After these changes are made, I can test the instruction to see if it works. In addition to writing a parameter, we can also read from a parameter. Let's say for example that I want to check on the internal piping pressure I set the FDG airflow meter to. I can send a read message to the correct parameter and obtain this value. We've got an add-on instruction for reading IO-Link parameters via service data. So I'll import these AOI and add it to my main routine.
Looking at it briefly, it should look really similar to the right AOI we used just before. I'll keep on naming unused tags with a Z at the start, otherwise I'll make new tags for each field as normal. I'm still going to use port 1 to target my FDG, and I want to enter index 224 to read the internal piping pressure while leaving the subindex at 0. Lastly, I'll set my swap mode to 1 since the value is still only 2 bytes long. I'll click on the bottom ellipses to set up the AOI itself, entering 4B for the service code, 85 for the class, and 1 for both the instance and attribute fields. For the source and destination, I'll choose the tag from the read data field we created on the AOI. Next, I'll head over to the communication tab and set the path for the AOI back to the correct NQ module. After this is done, I can apply the settings and then set up my rung that toggles the request bit to initiate the read message. Now I can head over to my tags and adjust the read data tag. My length tag needs to be set to the correct length of the parameter I'm reading. Once I've got this, I can go ahead and test my read message. I should receive a value of 70 PSI whenever I send this message.